I was just about to get a PlayStation 4 for Christmas last year. I'm 19 years old, and I used to be a hunter back like in 2015, and I really loved being one. So I recently saw this game called The Hunter, Call of the Wild, and I've heard that it was an open wide game, and it's quite expensive. I asked for it for Christmas, and when the day came, I was really excited to open my gifts seeing what I got hoping that it was the game. I just couldn't wait to play an open wide hunting sandbox game. Heck, I would even pee my pants. But anyway, I saw the snow, I came downstairs, and I opened my gifts, and to my surprise and happiness, I got the PS4 and the game. I was really happy about it, and my parents were really glad that I was happy, but I just realized that a friend of mine died from suicide a week ago. I really missed him, and me and him were really close. But I tried getting that off my mind because it was Christmas and I wanted to try to stay happy. So I put the disc in my, the PS4 and I started playing it, and to be honest, it was really fun. The game was very detailed and I just absolutely love it. It's open wide and it's full of animals. I just absolutely love it. I would play most of the day on that bad boy. I actually have gotten so many deer I felt that nostalgia. Then, I noticed some weird things. I just somehow downloaded a DLC for a new map, but the map looked quite disturbing and I was curious what was in there. Like, was there mythical creatures just like from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas? Well, I just opened the map, and when I played the map, there was no warden, and the skies were really dark. I just played it, and I only had a shotgun with a scope. Then, I shot a deer. And what happened to the poor thing? Ugh, oh, it was just disturbing. Even when I think about it, it just makes me want to hurl. It vomited its guts out. The deer was dead, and there was a blood trail. I kind of cringed at that scene, but there are more things to go. The vomited blood made a trail of blood to a path, which looked really weird. When I checked it, it appeared there was a cabin that looked pretty old. I decided to check it out, and when I got inside, I noticed it was pretty dark inside, like pitch black. I was wondering what was going to happen next, and well, what I found just scarred me for life. There were a bunch of slaughtered deer with their limbs cut off, their eyes ripped out and their throats slid open, their eyes even blinked and it looked just like a vulture's eye. I began to wonder what the hell just happened. I quickly got the hell out of that cabin and I drove off with my ATV. We then found a word on the railroad tracks that said our friend's name of blood. I thought I peed myself and I had to puke from the horrors. How did this happen? I thought to myself. Like how is this possible for a video game that is rated T for teen? I turned off the PlayStation and immediately contacted my friend Griffin about it. He thought it was just some joke until he came to my house to play it. He went into my room and we talked about it. And he was really confused. When he played it, he spawned into the map immediately and he saw a trail of footprints that led to in what appeared to be a shadow figure. He was tall and he had a smile. The skies were getting darker and we had a box in the game somehow. When we opened it, there was a decapitated coyote head. We immediately turned off that PlayStation 4 and we had to run downstairs and we just had to throw that game away. It just, I just, we just couldn't handle it. Next morning, I tried texting my dad and it replied, the game. And I texted, what? Then there was no response, it was just silent, 
and I was really confused about it. And I was thinking to myself, what on earth did I just experience?